we lose sight, sense, feeling, and knowledge of what we are. What we are is not in the senses, it's not in the experiences. Not in the way that we chase them, anyway. As the essence of the experiences, as the basis of these self-appearances that you call experiences, yes. The basis of that, the timeless essence of that is what we are. But uh, most people can't recognize that until they are able to recognize themselves as they are, which happens without chasing after experiences. It happens when we give ourselves a break from that. Now, one of the main sort of comments that I tend to get to that, of a not negative nature, but arguing nature, is that we came here for the experience. All heard this one, right? So when we instruct along the lines of transcending experiences by not letting them affect us and by seeing that what we're actually looking for, the happiness, is not found in the experiences, then the objection by the ego is, but we came here, the spiritual objection by the ego is, we came here for the experiences. Well, actually, I disagree. You came here for learning, and experiences are the means to learning. When you try to get from destination A to destination B, you need a vehicle. The vehicle for learning is experiences, it's catalyst, it's challenge, it's interpretation, it's symbolization, it's manifestation. So as you're trying to learn about yourself, about the Creator, about who you are, you need experiences, you need the vehicle of experiences, body, mind, and world, and so forth, other selves. You didn't come here for the experience to taste the wine, to taste the chocolate, to taste the cigar. That's not why you came here in my humble opinion, in my not so humble opinion, why you came here is to know yourself, to learn about who you are. Now there's different levels to different souls that want to explore different kinds of lessons. So this is not a general statement um, that everyone desires to exhaust experiences because what they, what some people want to learn, what some entities want to learn is sort of high end game level spiritual evolutionary stuff <laughs> it's the creator knowing itself is the direct mm, the direct teachings the end of the line kind of stuff if that's something that resonates for you that true self-realization enlightenment approach it's fine if it doesn't it's totally fine if it doesn't but if you're one of those that it does appeal to then the lesson that you came here for the learning that you came here for was to learn how to recognize your true self so then experiences are just a vehicle a mirror for you to see yourself in, reflect it in. So we're using experiences to get to the learning. Now for those beings or souls that came here to learn a more relative lesson, for example, how to love and how to forgive and how to have compassion or how to um, uh, surrender certain patterns that have been sort of part of their experience as a soul for quite some time and so on and so forth, then the experiences that you're having, it's still not what you came here for. Even if you didn't come here to transcend all experiences, you still came here for learning, in my opinion. So the learning that you're here to do, you need the experiences to do that learning. Once you've learned what you wanted to learn from those particular experiences, the experiences exhaust themselves. You are no longer needing those experiences and therefore you will no longer typically attract those types of patterns or, or catalytic reflections and so forth. So once the learning has been accomplished, the vehicle, which is the means to the learning, in this case experiences, have been exhausted and your interest in them is exhausted. And then if you were someone who was interested in a relative lesson, now a new lesson opens up that needs new types of experiences, new themes of experiences. Once you are learning everything you want to learn from those experiences, then those experiences will cease to bug you or appear to you and they'll be replaced by yet another thematic series of experiences until those lessons are learned. So you didn't come here for the chocolate. I'm sorry, ladies, you didn't come here for the chocolate. You came here for the learning. The chocolate is just to keep you here, to help you to not take your own life. It's just to keep you here. It's just to keep you interested. Doesn't mean you cannot see the Creator, that you cannot experience God while you're eating chocolate, but it's rare. People say they do, but rarely do they actually experience God while they're eating chocolate. They're just 
enjoying the sensation and the pleasure of the nervous system firing off in a certain way when you're eating chocolate. Also nothing wrong with that. But that's not, in my opinion, it's not what you came here for. Maybe in the, maybe one in every million souls came here specifically for that reason, just as some respite from something else. They just wanted this state of physicality in this particular way to particularly enjoy the chocolate, maybe. Everything is possible, but that's not the standard in my view. I just want to make sure that you understand the difference. You didn't come here for the experiences. You came here for the learning that you wish to extract from the experiences because that's what you take with you beyond this lifetime. That's what you extract. That is what becomes part of you. The experiences come and go all the time for billions of years. No big deal. You didn't come. You don't come here for experiences. You come here for learning, for awakening, and ultimately for the transcendence of all experiences, which happens through learning from the experiences. So they have a beautiful function, beautiful purpose, and their essence is love, and their essence is the creator. But you didn't come here for the chocolate. But make sure when you eat it, you enjoy it, and maybe even recognize the creator in the chocolate. Lots of love.